Welcome back. Before the break, we discussed the images portraying the Lord Jesus Christ are not really Christ himself. Instead, no one really knows exactly what Christ looks like, whether from the Bible or from historical documents. So the images that many people have today are just artistic renditions that come from the imaginations of the various artists, thus the many variations. Now some would say, well, it doesn't matter. I just want to have something to remind me of the Lord Jesus Christ. What could be wrong with that? Well, take a look at the following. <laughs> Well, we've all heard about images of Jesus showing up in unlikely places. Now there is a man who found the image of his Savior in a bag of Cheetos, believe it or not. You know, those crunchy little snacks, cheesy, crunchy little snacks. Youth Minister Steve Craig says that he was about to pop one in his mouth when he noticed that it looked like Jesus. A Blue Springs woman says her child's crayons led her to an encounter with Jesus. I've been praying about certain things and I had asked God for a sign, you know, and I think the crazy part about this was within an hour of doing this, you know, I don't know what better sign you get than it actually being right in front of you. The state couple says they looked down and saw a message from above. Jacob Simmons and Gentry Lee Sutherland make no secret about being religious folks. God is real and he is watching. So when the engaged couple saw a face mysteriously appear on their Walmart receipt, there's only one person it could be. And the more you look at it, the more like Jesus. To some, it's just a tree with its bark exposed, discolored by running water. But to neighbors here in the 700 block along Bosque Loop in Bernalillo, it's a miracle. Yeah, like right in the middle of his body, you could actually see him looking at you. Many of the believers are Catholic and say this is a full body image of Jesus Christ, dressed in a robe and his arms crossed in front. Witnesses admit it may not look like much in the daylight, but at night it's different. Lorenzo Garul says his cousin was the first to see it. He looked into the tree, and in the tree you could see a glowing image of what we, we think is of our Lord. And um, so... My cousin called us, we all came. And this is what they saw on that first night, described as a glowing figure that appeared to look back at them wherever they stood. This is a picture taken by Joey Dominguez. It really does show, you see that silhouette. Now, handfuls of faithful Catholics continue to make their way to see for themselves. The image was discovered late Friday night, and since then it's become a makeshift place of worship. Neighbors here are the first to say to skeptics, you see what you want to see, but ask any of them, and they will tell you this has already done at least one good thing. When Tammy Coors had to have an MRI scan last week, she was nervous and uncomfortable, so she reached out to someone who always gives her comfort. As soon as they put me in there, I just started praying, and I just prayed, Lord, just be with me. She says what happened while she was having the MRI scan brought her to tears. I just had this wonderful experience that I was with him. What she sees is an image of Jesus Christ. You can clearly see his eyes, his, his eyebrow, his nose, his mouth. She calls it confirmation that she was not alone when she was at the hospital. You know, if these portraits of Christ were true, then look at what people have done. They would have degraded his image. And we are sure that Christ would not be happy with the way people portray him. Now, there is something even worse than this. What have millions of people done with the fictional image of Christ? Now, what we're about to present may seem offensive to some. But like we said before in our previous shows, uh, we are never out to offend anyone. It's never our intention. However, this show should be understood is a show to reveal the truth. Now, what have millions of people done with the fictional image of Christ? We're going to read from a book entitled The Faith of Our Fathers, written by James Cardinal Gibbons. We will read on pages 164 and also 165. It is in this sense, I take it, 
that scholastic writers have spoken of the same worship being paid to images of Christ as to Christ our Lord Himself. For the act which is called the worship of an image is really the worship of Christ Himself through and in the presence of the image by occasion of it. Now, take note that there are millions of people who are not only convinced that the fictional images of Christ are true. Also, according to the book, Faith of Our Fathers, that we have just read, it stated that the same worship being paid to images of Christ as to Christ our Lord Himself. So, in other words, there are people, millions of people, that are worshiping an image that they believe to be our Lord Jesus Christ. They're worshiping these fictional images of Christ. What does our Lord God feel regarding any image that people make with the intent of worshiping it? This is what the Lord God mentioned in the book of Exodus. The chapter is 20. And the verses are 3 through 5. This is recorded. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image, any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. And so clearly, the Lord God does not allow man to make any physical image to be used for worship. It does not matter what or who, no exceptions. So for example, even if anyone may find an authentic picture of Christ, it is not to be worshipped in any way. Now, if people really want to honor Christ, let us do it by doing our best to be like Him, by living a holy and righteous way of life in obedience to God's commandments. And so the truth may be painful at first, but whether we like it or not, whether we believe it or not, the truth is something we all must face. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brother Barry Thompson. Until next time, take care and God bless.